Hi everyone and welcome back to Thrifted Living Vlogs. My name is Kieran. So to start this video, I would like to talk about something that just happened and then I will sort of talk about what I planned on sharing with you guys here. Um, but if you saw the first clip of this video is me sitting in this same spot but I'm wearing a different shirt and I just wanted to share with you a little bit of what happened. So pretty much I was sitting here getting ready to film and I had an intrusive thought about the shirt that I was wearing and I'm I'm actually pretty proud of myself because in the past I would have really struggled to like keep going if I had an intrusive thought and I'm pretty proud that I was able to just stop filming for a second sort of start over again by just changing the shirt that I was wearing um and I know it seems like it's like it might not be a really big thing that I did that but for me that's huge that I was able to see something that I was kind of struggling with acknowledge it but not get upset about it and then move forward um so I just sort of wanted to talk with you a little bit about that you know intrusive thoughts at least for me can come from anywhere I'm pretty proud of myself that I was able to you know, acknowledge that I was struggling with something and then just, you know, do something to make me feel more comfortable and I'm back here filming, which is huge and I'm really excited about that and I'm, I'm, I'm proud of myself um, and I'm happy that I can share this moment with you guys because that's, it's a big deal for me. Um, so yeah, thank you for listening to that like little extra piece of information um, that I hadn't planned on sharing, but um, yeah, I'm really excited that I was able to do that and um, okay, yeah, so sorry, but um, anyway, so So the main the main thing that I wanted to talk with you all today about so the main thing that I wanted to talk with you guys today so the main thing that I wanted to talk about with you guys today is how my OCD affects my life as a YouTuber, Instagrammer. So the main thing that I wanted to talk with you guys today about is how OCD affects my life as a content creator on YouTube and also a so the main the main thing so the main topic that I would like to talk with you guys about today is how OCD the main topic so the main topic that I would like to talk it's like okay I'm, I might include a little bit of the footage of me trying to talk right now um in the video but as you can see I had an intrusive thought I was trying to not be upset about it but now I like can't speak clearly with you guys so sometimes it's like a trade-off like where you are experiencing something like an intrusive thought so sometimes you take all of the strategies that you've learned to try to work on that one specific thing for me right now it's the intrusive thought that I had about my clothing and so I'm trying all of the strategies that I know, but now I'm having a hard time talking. Um, so sometimes that happens. It doesn't always happen for me, um, but yeah, sometimes it does. So, um, so, but yeah, sometimes it does and it makes things kind of difficult, but I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep on trying to film. I'll just take a breath for a second. Okay, so. All right, so the main thing that I so the main thing that I wanted to talk with you guys today about is how so the main thing that I wanted to talk with you guys today about is how I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Okay. So the main thing that I wanted to talk with you guys today about is how my OCD affects my why can't I do this right now? So the, so the main thing that I wanted to talk with you guys today about is how my OCD affects my life as a YouTuber, content creator, video creator. So the main thing that I wanted to talk with you guys about today is how... So the main thing that I wanted to talk with you guys today about... It, so the main thing that I wanted to talk with you guys today about is how my OCD affects my life as a YouTuber. So the main thing... Alright, so the main... Alright, so I wanted to talk with you guys... So the main thing that I, wow, this is rough right now, guys. I'm really sorry. Okay, I can do it. I can do it. All right. So the main thing that I wanted to talk with you guys about today is how my OCD affects my life as a YouTuber, a content creator, an influencer. I don't really know what I would call myself. Um, 
with like what I do on social media. Um, I just maybe like I could say a creator, sort of how my OCD affects my life as a creator on social media. There, I like I like how that sounds. Um, and the the reason that I want to share this with you is I have been working um, over the past couple days. It's Sunday right now, Sunday afternoon, and I've been working on one video for the past couple days. And I was editing a video today, and in my head, when I first started editing a video, the video, I was thinking, okay, you know, this will take a couple hours. I worked on that video for, I want to say, like I filmed the video yesterday, but editing alone, I think I worked on that video for like six or seven hours. And a lot of it, not all of it, but a portion of it, I was really struggling with intrusive thoughts and the things that I struggle with with OCD. So I definitely struggle with my OCD when I am sharing on Instagram, sharing on YouTube. My OCD definitely does affect the way that I'm able to share creatively on YouTube and on Instagram. Um, and there are a variety of reasons for that. And something that I've, I've talked about, you know, this whole time since I've been sharing more with you about my struggles with OCD is that, um, I will share what I feel comfortable sharing at the time and I might not share, you know, things that maybe are a little more um, personal to me and, um, you know, I, some, so sometimes, I guess what I'm trying to say is that sometimes what I'm talking about might not fully make sense because I don't feel comfortable saying what I'm really, like the specific thing that I'm struggling with and um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that. There have been times when I've been trying to share a video with you guys and I have tried to film and edit the video multiple times. There, As an example, I shared a video when Sean and I went to Disney in 2019. I wanted to share a like Disney vlog series. I still have all of the footage from that, but editing and uploading that video took me about a week and I probably edited and uploaded that video without exaggeration, probably seven times. Um, and the reasons that I was editing parts out of the video or adding parts to the video were all related to my OCD and intrusive thoughts that I was having about the video. And so it makes it, so sometimes it makes it very difficult for me to share videos because I'm concerned about, you know, a variety of things with the video. And again, the, it's a lot of intrusive thoughts that I have about the video. Um, and I, and I don't really feel comfortable sharing what an example of that would be at this point, just because it is really personal. Um, and, you know, as I've said before, maybe at some point I will feel comfortable sharing, but I just don't know that I'm quite ready to share that yet. But, um, you know, so I want to really work on, like, working through those fears and those, you know, the the things that are keeping me from sharing as much as I would like to. I love to share thrift hauls and thrift with me videos and Dollar Tree videos and DIY videos. Um, and I think what has kept me from doing that is knowing what I struggle with with the editing portion of the video because I, I'm struggling with so many intrusive thoughts and when it comes to that. It's something that I've been really working on and I just sort of thought about it more today when when I woke up this morning I was thinking oh, okay I'm gonna edit this video and then I'm gonna film a thrift haul and I'm gonna film all of these different videos and I spent six or seven hours editing the video and and I actually do feel like I was a little more efficient than I normally am with editing but I definitely did get stuck a couple times with some intrusive thoughts and and the intrusive thoughts that I'm having in the past would make me delete the entire video and start editing again even if I was almost done editing the video um, so the fact that I was able to work through those intrusive thoughts and I didn't delete the video completely at all um, which was really good um, and I actually have it uploading right now to YouTube but the fact that I was able to work through that and and the video is going to be going live sometime this week is it's huge. Um, and so I just wanted to share that with you guys and you know let you know what I'm working toward and and the other thing that also affects that is I do struggle with editing the videos, but I also struggle with filming the videos because 
sometimes when I'm filming like at the thrift store, I will have so many intrusive thoughts about what I'm filming and how I'm filming that I will film and edit in a way that maybe isn't the most like efficient way to do something. I, I don't really know how to describe it. I think that I struggle with filming things at times because I'm trying to avoid things that will trigger intrusive thoughts while I'm editing and it just has completely changed the way I film videos and and that's been difficult because there were so many ways that I love to film in the past that are just more challenging for me to be able to film like that now. Um, but I'm really working hard to work through that, if that makes sense. I sometimes try to like look at the video I'm editing and or the film the video I'm filming and like take myself out of the situation and try to think about how somebody without my specific OCD would view the video, you know? And it's, it's so it's it's hard because it's not just like look through the video, film it and, you know, edit, edit it. I'm almost like taking a step back and looking as an outsider in my video. Um, but it's, it's so hard to take that step back and look because I have my own specific thought processes and, you know, struggles that I have with OCD that make it just so difficult to separate myself from, from that. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's been a challenge, but I, something that has been so helpful with, for me is, um, I'm having a hard time talking. Something that I think has really been helpful for me is talking with you guys here on this second channel and sharing with you my struggles because then when you go to watch other videos maybe on my main channel thrifted living then you have a better understanding of what it took to share that video if that makes sense um and it also helps me to talk it out with you guys and i, I think i shared that in last week's video that the vlogs have been really helpful as a way for me to reflect on how i'm thinking and look back at how i was feeling in a specific moment because I definitely film things where I'm really struggling and um, but I don't share them with you guys maybe and while I'm editing I do edit out that footage of you know of, of what I'm struggling with and um, looking back at that and being able to think about it and reflect on it has been really helpful and so I think that this second channel has just been really helpful as a way for me to practice the skills that I'm learning in therapy um, and also reflecting on how I'm, what I'm doing when I'm feeling okay, and also like what I'm doing when I'm not feeling okay. So I hope that this video gives you a little more information about my specific OCD and sort of some of the things I'm struggling with. I hope that this video also might give you a little more perspective on some of the things that are difficult for me when I'm sharing on YouTube um, and the videos that I share on Thrifted Living, my main channel. Um, and I, I'm excited to work really hard to challenge myself. Um, I'm, I'm excited to start sharing more videos with you on Thrifted Living. Um, it's definitely difficult for me, but it's something that I'm really looking forward to. Um, and one of the main reasons that I wanted to share this with you guys is because I've received so many kind comments from people, you know, just asking how I am and how um, I'm feeling. Sometimes it's just so hard like the whole process can be so daunting to me because of my struggles with OCD that I just sometimes choose to not share and to not film anything. So um, I, I wanna say thank you to those people who have been so kind and reached out to me. I really appreciate your kindness and, and I'm looking forward to challenging myself um, and encouraging myself. I don't know if challenge is the word I want to say. I'm looking forward to encouraging myself to share more and to to work hard at you know my, my YouTube channels um, because I have so much fun sharing with you all and thrifted living has just been such like it's been wonderful it's like been such an amazing experience to me to be able to share with you all but recently because of my OCD it's been like a mountain that's been really difficult to climb um, but I feel like I'm starting to figure out the strategies and the skills that will help me share more and help me um, connect more again um, and feel confident in what I'm doing. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Um, 
I appreciate your patience. I know this was a difficult video. Thank you so much for being patient at the beginning of the video when I was um, having a difficult time. Um, again, I appreciate all of you so much and your kind words and your support. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in my next video. I hope you all have a great week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.